Gracias a toda la familia que han salido a apoyarnos en este evento hoy. Les apreciamos a todos. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Alfred B. B. Quavers Multicultural Committee would like to welcome you all to our annual Black History Month Assembly. Damas y caballeros, niños y niñas, Alfred Kramer y el Comité Multicultural le quiere dar la bienvenida a esta celebración anual de uh, African American History. Our theme this year is celebrating the achievements and contributions of African American heroes and sheroes. You all will experience a brief synopsis Nuestro tema de este día es para celebrar las contribuciones, los logros de nuestros héroes afroamericanos. Of poetry, song, rap, and theatrical performance, and a slide presentation. Con poemas, canciones, teatro y presentaciones de otras personas. That was written by a famous African American. Que fueron escritos por un famoso African American. Our program will begin shortly. Nuestro programa continuará pronto. So our program is going to move. We're going to have Miss Anaya Thompson, Miss W. Tribet, Miss R. Tribet, and they're going to sing a song, Lift Every Voice. Nuestra persona que va a hacer ahora una presentación es Anaya Thompson. Ella va a estar cantando la canción Live Every Voice.
Próximo a nuestra agenda, Nets, tenemos un skit. We have a skit by a few teachers. So, tenemos, uh, uh, tenemos un, un, una presentación by, por varios maestros. Uh, Mr. Adams, Ms. Detriville, uh, Ms. Roberts, Ms. Mattis, Ms. Cipolo, Ms. Thompson, Ms. Thompson, Ms. Denson, Mr. Cool, Ms. Vaughn, and Ms. Tyson. Sisters, we are gathered here today to give you all some good news. Amen. What is that good news, you might all ask? It's that wonderful news about how the celebration of Black History Month came about. Members of the choir say amen. Amen. Well, um, you see, way back in 1926, there lived a man, a very good man, a highly intelligent man, a black man. All right now. Well, now you see his name is Carter G. Woodson. Carter G. Woodson was a Harvard-trained historian. Well, now, way back in 1915, he, a prominent, Minister Jesse E. Moreland founded the Association for the Study of Negro Life and History. So you all can log on to www.history.com to learn more about that association. Amen. That organization was dedicated to researching and promoting achievements by black Americans and other peoples of African descent. Thus giving us in 1926, Negro History Week. To, today it is known as Black History Month. Since 1976, every US president has officially designated the month of February as Black History Month. Amen. Other countries around the world, including Canada and the United Kingdom, also devoted a month to celebrating Black History Month. All right now. So we all know that Black History Month didn't just start here in America. It began in Africa. All right. Black African peoples built the pyramids, created mathematics, created medicine. In Mali, there were great universities that thrived for centuries. All right now. Well now, that was a happy day back in 1915 and 1926. A day that a very good man, a highly intelligent man, a black man, gave us some of our history. Oh, happy day. Oh happy, day. oh happy day, 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 oh happy day. Oh, it is 
aplauso bien fuerte a estos maestros. Igual está a, 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 a big applause. Ok. Next on our agenda, tenemos otra presentación. We have another presentation by Ms. Jetterville, Mrs. Roberts, and Ms. Wynn. Ellos van a estar haciendo algo acerca de Ruby Bridges. They will be doing a performance about Ruby Bridges. Assembly. For the entire month of February, my kindergarten class has been learning and celebrating African American icons who have made their mark in the world we live in today. We have been paying special attention to a particular person who had a lot in common with my very own kindergarten students. This person made history at the age of six. Yes, she made history at six years old. And a lot of my students in my class are five and six years old. She was brave, she was playful, she was intelligent, she was friendly, she was kind, and most of all, she was loving. She loved everybody, no matter the color of their skin or their background. This little girl's name is Ruby Bridges. So sit back and relax, and we hope that you enjoy our reenactment of the day Ruby Bridges made history. <laughs> between the four of us and do not look back no matter what happens don't look back at the crowd say nothing going through i'm late for a medical conference but hey what's going on here
1960, a judge ordered four black girls to go to two white elementary schools. Three of the girls were sent to McDonough 19. Six-year-old Ruby Bridges was sent to first grade in the William Franz Elementary School. At that time, black children and white children went to separate schools in New Orleans. The black children were not able to receive the same education as the white children. It wasn't fair and it was against the nation's law. On Ruby's first day, a large crowd of angry white people gathered outside the France Elementary School. The people carried signs that said they didn't want black children in the white school. People called Ruby names. Some wanted to hurt her. The city and state police did not help Ruby. The President of the United States ordered federal marshals to walk with Ruby into the school building. The marshals carried guns. wearing a clean dress and a belt in her hair, and carrying her lunch pail. Ruby walked slowly for the first few blocks. As Ruby approached the school, she saw a crowd of people marching up and down the street. Men and women and children shouted at her. They pushed toward her. The marshals kept them from Ruby by threatening to arrest them. Ruby would hurry through the crowd and not say a word. The white people in the neighborhood would not send their children to school. When Ruby got inside the building, she was all alone except for her teacher, Mrs. Henry. There were no other children to keep Ruby company, to play with and learn with, to eat lunch with. But every day, Ruby went into the classroom with a big smile on her face, ready to get down to the business of learning. So Ruby, I heard you were a good student. Is that true? Yes, ma'am. That's great. We're going to have lots of fun together. Where are the other kids? They'll come back eventually. Their parents are just angry right now. But we can have fun, just the two of us. What do you think about that? OK. She, when school was over for the day, Ruby hurried through the mob as usual. After she walked a few blocks and the crowd was behind her, Ruby said the parish repeated twice a day, before and after school. Please God, please God, try to forgive those people. Because even if they say those bad things, they don't know what they're doing. So you could forgive them, just like you did those folks a long time ago when they sit there but thinks about you. Wait, don't open it yet, not yet, sorry. Thank you to the bravery of the young six-year-old Ruby Bridges. All of our schools across the country are integrated with many wonderful cultures. Thank you, Ruby Bridges. Thank you, parents, staff, and students. I also want to thank our cast. We have um, some sixth grade students who were our narrators. Um, 
Kimberly from Mrs. Wynn's class. You can clap for them. <laughs> Wanda from Mrs. Wynn's class. This was Ruby's mother, Dejanay from Mrs. Wynn's sixth grade class. Another narrator, Edwin from Mrs. Wynn's sixth grade class. And Najir from Mrs. Wynn's sixth grade class. And my students, of course. Thank you so much. Ms. Roberts, another round of applause. They did a great job. Okay, now it's time for questions for the boys and girls that are sitting here. Okay. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna ask a question, and if you know the answer, I want you to raise and I will come, if you get it, you'll get it right. Okay, you ready for the first question? Hopefully my mic will work. Who gave the speech, I have a dream? Do you know the answer? Could you repeat the Dr. Martin Luther that is correct. Come up. Ah. There you go. Thank you. Ready for another question? Well, this is an easy one. Everybody in this room should be Okay. Okay, switching mics. Who was the first African American president of the United States of America? Let's see, let's see, who knows? Who knows? Samir, do you know? Who is it? George Washington. Nope. Let's see if we can find somebody else. Good answer though. Who was our first African American president? Obama. Barack Obama. That is correct. Come on up and get a prize. Okay. Okay. All right. We will have more questions and more prizes in a little bit. So let's get ready for Dr. Alexis and her first graders. Thank you. 
to perform for us. We have a second grade class singing uh, the, the song Heal This World. Próximo en la agenda para, uh, para cantar la canción uh, Sana Nuestro Mundo, segundo grados. Miss Matty's class, uh, Miss Hall, Miss Denson, Miss Ortiz, and Miss Abreu de Jesus. the generation and to say we want to make it a better world for our children and our children's children. So that you know it will be a better world and a better place.
Give him another applause. Otro aplauso. Beautiful. Good job. All right, we're ready for our next performance, but I, I want to say, parents, a los padres, si usted se puede darle cuenta cuánto ellos están aprendiendo su clase de música. Have you noticed how much they are learning in their music class? So, un aplauso, give uh, Ms. Vol an applause for that. These kids are learning music. All right, next on our agenda, to perform for us, uh, Ms. Reardon's class, uh, Dr. Steele, Mr. Clarity's class, uh, fifth grade, with a song called Respect. Gracias a los padres siempre por estar aquí a apoyar estos eventos. So I want to say thank you to all parents for always supporting these events. Thank you. It's always good to see you here. And uh, I'm looking at the signing sheet, so give yourself an applause. Dese un aplauso. Gracias por compartir con nosotros. Thank you for sharing with us. It's always good to have you here. We are a nation of Christians, Muslims, Jews, Hindus, and non-believers. We are shaped by every language and culture drawn from every end of this earth. And because we tasted the bitter swell of civil war, segregation, and emerged from the dark chapter, more, more united, 
We cannot help but believe that the old hatred shall someday pass, that the line of tribes shall soon dissolve. That's as the world goes smaller. Our common humanity shall reveal itself, and that's America most play its role in ushering a new era of peace. How we urge them to ignore those who question their father's citizenship or faith. How we insist that this hateful language we hear form public figures on TV and does not represent the true spirit of this country. How we explain that when someone acts cruel or like a bully to you, you do not stoop down to their level. No, our motto is, when they go low, we go high. With every word we utter, with every action we take, we know our kids are watching us. We as parents are the most important role models. When they go low, we go high. You may write me down in history if you're ready to the lies. You may throw me in the very dirt with the light of the eye. Does my sassiness upset you? Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides, just like hope springing high, still I rise. Did you want to see me broken? Did you want to see me broken? Bow head and lower eyes. Bow head and lower eyes. Shoulders fall down like teardrops. Shoulders fall down like teardrops. We can buy my soulful pride. We can buy. Does my haughtiness upset you? Don't take it off for heart, cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. You want to shoot me with your words. You cut me with your eye. You kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like air, I'll rise. class and they will be performing a song uh, by the Jackson 5 the song stop the love the love you say
welcome our staff members. Can you give our staff members a round of applause? We are almost closing out our program. We have one more um, act for you this, e this morning, and then we're going to close out the program. Estamos a punto de terminar con nuestro programa. Tenemos solo una presentación más y después cerraremos el programa. Okay, so if you sit tight, we are going to have a performance by Ms. Vol's class, um, African American rap performance. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this, so sit tight. So, si se pueden sentar tranquilitos, tenemos un rap con nuestra uh, maestra Mesbo eh, y solo disfrúteselo.
before we close, I do have some special thank yous. Um, I want to thank first Mr. Martinez and Mr. Ramos. Oh. <laughs> you can applaud for Mr. Ramos there. <laughs> to see your, your students and your children come out and really perform today, so thank you. Um, we want to fin uh, also thank our Black National Anthem singers that we had all week long singing, lift every voice and sing on the announcements, Ms. Mathis, Ms. R. Trebet, Officer Roman, Officer Coleman, and Ms. Tyson, thank you very much. We want to thank Ms. Watkins and Mr. Mendez for the decorations, and Ms. Cipollone and Ms. Vole for the technology, and of course, our custodians, Ms. Jackie and Mr. G. Can we give everybody a round of applause? And we have our MCs here, Mr. Ramos and Mr. Adams. Give them a round of applause. as well and our lead educator Mr. Grossman was here supporting us as well.